Hey guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about the vertebral column. You have 33 individual bones. You have 7 cervical, 12 thoracic, 5 lumbar, 5 sacral, and 4 coccygeal. The normal shape of the spine is the shape of an S. You have abnormalities. For example, if you have a side-to-side -side, uh, abnormal curvature of the spine, it's known as scoliosis. When you have an abnormal outward curvature of the upper back, it is known as kyphosis. And when you have an inward curvature of the lower back, it's known as lordosis. You can try to remember lumbar and lordosis, L for both. In the vertebral body, you have in the center the nucleus pulposus, surrounded by the annulus fibrosus. When you have disc herniation, the nucleus pulposus protrudes through the annulus fibrosus. You have the vertebral arch, which includes two structures. You have the pedicles and the laminae. These are the pedicles. And these are the laminae. There is a surgical procedure known as laminectomy where the surgeon will cut through the lamina to access the spinal nerves or the spinal cord. Through the intervertebral foramen passes the spinal nerve. There are 31 pairs of spinal nerves, 8 cervical, 12 thoracic, 5 lumbar, 5 sacral and 1 coccygeal. There are 5 ligaments that you need to know. There is the anterior and the posterior longitudinal ligaments. The ligamentum flavum which connects the vertebrae from lamina to lamina. The interspinal ligament connecting the spinous processes and the supraspinous ligament. Moving on to the muscles of the back, you have the erector spinae muscles that run through the entire length of the back. There are three muscles. You have the spinalis, the longissimus thoracis, and the iliocostalis thoracis. Then you have muscles in the deeper region. Fixed to the lower back, you have the quadratus lumborum the psoas minor and major. Then you have muscles within the vertebral column. So you have the intertransversary between the transverse processes. You have the interspinalis between the spinous processes. You have the multifidus and the rotators. It is not just the muscles of the back that contribute to the stability of the spine, but also the abdominal muscles, for example, the internal, external oblique, the transversus abdominis, and also the rectus abdominis. All right, let's rewind the number of bones, 33. The types, 7 cervical, 12 thoracic, 5 lumbar, 5 sacral, 4 coccygeal. The abnormalities, scoliosis, lordosis, kyphosis. Spinal nerves, 31. 8 cervical, 12 thoracic, 5 lumbar, 5 sacral, 1 coccygeal. Muscles running throughout the length of the entire back. You have the erector spinae muscles, three types, spinalis, longissimus, iliocostalis. Muscles in the lower back, quadratus lumborum, psoas major and minor. Muscles between the vertebrae, you have intertransversary, interspinalis, multifidus, and rotators. And also, uh, the abdominal muscles provide some stability, so the internal and the external oblique, the transversus abdominis, and the erectus abdominis. Five ligaments, anterior and posterior longitudinal ligaments, ligamentum flavum, interspinal ligament, and supraspinous ligament. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you want to know more about the spinal cord, hop on to the next video. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.